Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for another video. Um, last week we talked about the backdrop that's going onto the, uh, onto the layout and I showed you a little bit of a piece of fence that uh, we were going to make to go in front of those houses above the train station platforms and this is the finished fence. Um, I think it looks pretty good uh, and I think I think we're gonna go with this fence here and I made a length here that's three feet long let's see there we go it's three feet long and it's eight scale feet and I put a figure in there so you could kind of see the length the the height of the fence and the scale of the um, the holes in the fence so that you know you, you get an idea that is definitely matched for end scale and, and it works pretty well so this is like I said it's it's three feet long and I'm pretty happy with it so it goes pretty far all the way down to there um, this is the actual piece that's going to go on the layout. This is the actual piece that's going to go on to the layout and um, I thought I'd take some time and show you exactly how this was built and uh, how you can do it yourself. So why don't, we, why don't we get this piece out of here and get set up on the bench here and, and we'll get started and show you how it's done. All right, so cleaned off the bench here and then what you can see here is I have a Home Depot yardstick. I went to the Home Depot and I bought this. It cost me 98 cents. Um, this is the beginning of a jig that we're gonna use to make that fence. So I took that jig, that, that uh, yardstick, and I also went and bought some balsa wood. This was about four dollars. All right, this is uh, an eighth inch thick. I bought three inches wide by 36 long, so it's the same length as the yardstick. And then I cut some strips off of that. So what I did was I cut a three quarter inch strip of uh, of the wood, three quarter inches wide, which comes out to about eight feet in end scale, okay? And once I cut that off, I pulled out my chopper. So we've got three quarter wide, wide from this end to this end. And then I went on my chopper, I set my, my distance here and I cut them into three quarter inch lengths. No, a little bit over three quarters. Uh, what do we have here? I cut them into 10, so it's 10 scale feet. So they're a little over three quarters. 13 sixteenths, so it's actually 13 sixteenths across. So that's 10 scale feet. And if I get out my scale ruler, <coughs> which I have here, you can see we have end scale on this side uh, yeah so we have end scale here so if we measure onto our pieces here I have 10 scale feet long by 8 feet high so then I took all of those pieces, I cut enough to cover this whole board, the, the whole yardstick. And then I went and I got some wire. So this wire that I have, originally the piece you saw downstairs used this wire. This is 20 gauge. I bought this at a craft store, Michael's or whatever. It's 20 gauge. It, it, it's really nice. Um, but the piece I showed you downstairs, this wire ends up being a little bit too heavy. It doesn't look scale. It makes the, the fencing look, uh, the holes in the fencing look too small. So then I got this. 
and this is what I used for that piece I showed you. This is 24 gauge and it's tinned, pre-tinned copper wire. It's much thinner and it looks m much more into scale. And I cut a piece of this. Now I made this with the 20 gauge, which, which is fine. And I, I, I cut up a small piece of this like this. And then I started at one end. I put the first piece on and I glued it down. Okay. Then I stuck this in and I put the next piece up to it, glued it down. And then I put the next piece, pushed this one up to it and glued it down and so on right across the whole piece. And that gave me this. Okay. So now I have 10 foot spacing and it's repeatable for as many pieces as I need to make. Um, then I took another strip of the balsa wood here and I cut that off. Uh, this is probably half an inch I believe, half an inch wide. And I glued it onto the back end and I lined the inside with 10,000 styrene. Okay, so let's get started on building this piece. I'm going to build a short section. I'm probably going to come back to maybe right around here is more than enough to finish off what I've got going on. So let's start with that. So I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to, I'm going to straighten it out, and we're going to put it in here like this. All right, I think that's more than enough. I, I don't, I don't really need to do more than that. Now, the reason for for this to come up here, this is the bottom side, and then when we're all done, well, I'll show you how this is going to go. But the top side is so that you can make the barbed wire top on the fence if you want to. Um, so I, I just add it on there, and then if I'm not going to do it like the fence I showed you, I just clip off the tops. So next thing we need to do is make our rails on the top and bottom. That's one. Two. All right, so we have enough of the wire now. Now we're just going to straighten this out. Now you, you can straighten this different ways. If you have long lengths, like I took this wire here and I put it in my vise. I clamped it in the vise at this end and then I grabbed it with a pair of pliers and you just yank on it and stretch it and it'll, it'll come out. It'll, it'll pull the kink right out of it. But it's a short piece so I'm not going to worry too much about that. There's one. Okay, so now I'm going to lay this in here, and what I did, and I found helpful, was I took a small screwdriver, small regular screwdriver, and then you're going to need a soldering iron, okay? So I have a little bit of solder here, I have a roll of solder, and I have my soldering iron here. And I'm just going to clean off the end. Okay, so I have my soldering iron, and then I have the, 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 the solder. I'm just going to put a little bit of solder right on the tip like that. And I'm going to take my wire, and I'm going to pull this into here and hold it in place with the screwdriver. And I'm just going to put this right up on there like that. And that'll solder down. Now I, I add a little bit between each one like this and we just keep rolling down the line. Pushing this one in like that. All 
Okay, so there's the top half all soldered. Now I'm going to do the bottom half off camera because you don't need to see me do all these solder joints. Um, and we'll come back when those are all done. Okay, so these are all soldered now. You can see all the joints. Now before you pull this out of the jig, you want to make sure that all these joints are good and solid um, because you don't want them breaking later and, and loosening. Now I found that out the hard way. Um, my joints weren't exactly perfect and some of these came undone and I had to go back and re-solder. Okay, so there's our fence now. All right. Now, if you were going to, now what I'll do here is you want to clip off on the bottom. See, now I got one that just broke right there. So we've got to re solder that one. Right here. Yeah, very important. I should probably be using flux paste on this but I don't happen to have any right now so I'm gonna have to let it roll um, we'll just have to go with it so there's our length of, of fence now we get rid of this. We don't need the, the uh, jig any longer. Now the bottom is this side. And you can tell the bottom from the top because that, the, the parts sticking off, off the uh, fence here are, are shorter on the top than the bottom. So let's go on the bottom and we're going to clip off every other one of these uh, points on here. And those are for mounting. All right, so these are your mounting legs down here. All right, so now the tops that are on here, I opted to clip these off on the fence that I showed you, but what you can do is you can wrap uh, wire. Now I had, and the only reason I clipped them off was because I, the, the string I have and was gonna use for that is too thin and I didn't want to go buy more stuff. But what I have is this easy string. Okay, you can buy this. This is available uh, online. This is the fine. So in order to make this look right, you probably need something a little heavier than the fine, okay? But what you do is you take the string and you wrap it around the first one, put a little glue on the first one, you let that set and you pull it around and you wrap each one all the way down all the way down to the end and you can put a little dab of glue onto each one of the, the, the points here and you do two or three three would be ideal it's more prototypical but two you can get away with lines of the string across the top and just clip off the little bit of extra and that gives you the barbed wire end and then you take your pliers and you can just bend this like this so it gives you this look here so that it's bent over like that and that gives you the barbed wire top to the fence now on mine I'm not doing that because like I said I don't have the right string for it and I'm just gonna let it go as is and I'm just gonna clip off the tops so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to clip off the tops. And I've already cut off all the tops. Now we're just going to cut off the ends here. Okay, so now we have a framework. All right. So now, onto this framework, we're going to add material. Okay, so the material I'm using is this. 
This is called Tool. T U L L E. I'll put a link to it. I bought it at the crafts at the hobby at the hobby store, at the fabric store, and this is what it looks like up close. It's material for wedding veils, that type of thing. It's a very fine mesh netting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a strip of this. I bought a yard. It was only. I don't know, less than three dollars. I, I don't remember exactly. For a square yard, that's three feet by three feet. So I'm gonna cut a strip of this. Like that. That should be more than enough. So you can see a yard will go a long way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this to my desk like this. I don't really know how much of this shows on camera because it's very thin. Okay, so I'm going to take some, some of my painter's tape and I'm going to tape it to my desk. Just on the edge of it. Like this. Then I'm going to slip this underneath. And then we're going to pull it tight over the top of it, like that. Sort of like that. And then we're going to get out the glue. And I'm using thin uh, CA or super glue because it dries a little bit quicker. All right. A little bit down on my paper. And then I'm going to get a toothpick and pull this tight. I'm just going to dab right over the post. Now, I suppose what you could do is drop a, a small weight in the center here and just set that on top of it, and that would hold this in place for a little while while this is drying so you can continue on. All right, so I'm about halfway through, so um, let me finish this up, and we'll come back when it's done and get on to the next part of it. All right, so I, I finished gluing down all of the, the material here, and I let it sit for probably about 10 minutes or so, and we're going to peel this off now. Like that. All right. So now this is what we have, which is this. So we have this piece, all right, it's all glued on. And now I, I realize some of the poles are not exactly straight, and that's okay. I, I've looked at, took a lot of time looking at fences out in my world here, and that seems to happen after some time. So. Now what we're going to do is we're going to trim off the extra. Now, my first instinct when I started doing this was to take a razor blade and, and cut this extra off. Uh, 
It's very tempting, but it, it really doesn't work. What I have are some small, like, uh, banded scissors. My wife got these from work a while back, and you just clip it like that. And just go right down the top. When you use a knife to try and cut that, it um, tends to want to pull. Now for the bottom, I just bend these legs down and out of the way. Okay, just straighten these legs back out. And there's the fence. All trimmed out the way it needs to be. Now anywhere where it's long, like I can see here, up in the camera over here, it's a little bit long. Um, we'll just trim that back just a little bit more. It's just a matter of fiddling with the scissors a bit. So now the thing to do with this is to paint it. And that'll get rid of this odd colored stuff, the glue that shows on top of the, the fence posts. And all I did for this, I didn't really put a lot of effort into it, and, and it came out pretty well, I think. Um, I painted the whole thing a primer gray. So I stuck it in the foam like this, brought it down in the garage, and I sprayed all the way around, good coat of primer gray. And then on top of that, after that was on, I went back with just silver. Um, I didn't want to do just silver because I don't want this to really shine. I want it to look worn in, in the ground. So then I took uh, silver and from a higher distance, I just spritzed it over the top and it just gave a little shimmer to the, to the fence and the fabric and it came out pretty good. Now, if you wanted to make gates, which I do want to do, um, the only thing you need to do is you want to take two of these and I, I make uh, let's let's um let's cut one off so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take these last two so we're gonna cut it here and we're gonna cut it on the other side So now to do a gate, now this section, all I need to do to make this right again is just cut off these, these two end pieces right here, and then I have a piece this long. All right, so it's not really a big deal. Now to do the gates on here, I wanna cut off the extra mesh on here. All right. So now on this, flatten this all out nice. Okay, so we'll take another piece of the wire. I'm gonna fit all the pieces in here and then I'm gonna solder them afterwards. So we got one piece right here all right now I'm leaving it long because I'm gonna solder one end and then I'm gonna clip it to length and cut the other end then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another piece and I'm gonna go from corner to corner
and then that one will go across like that and that will make gates see and I think that that looks pretty good I'm, I'm, I'm I'd be really happy with that I, I think um, I'm gonna do that for this one and I'm gonna add it into the long section that I have already now on these pieces and you can solder these with the material on I, I did it on the other one um, I also took the braces I don't know if you noticed them or not on the end sections so on the end sections and I just soldered them in like this one on each end so if the gates are gonna go here you would put one here and then the gate like this and then the next section with another one of these uprights you could run it maybe this way just to give it a different different look but that's how I did the end sections of the long of the long fence um, so that's pretty much it um, I've also seen some fences which have a cross brace like that and you can also do that too and those can be soldered in at any time it, it really doesn't it's not a big deal they're not um, supporting anything and the material like I said I've done it before it, it, it hasn't caught on fire it doesn't melt or anything like that so I, I don't think there's any problems with that um, so anyway yeah that's that's gonna be it um, uh, let me let me bring over the other fence and you can get a, a better look at that um, this is the done fence after it's painted right here there you go and you can see how it how it came out and there's the support on the end here um, and I did one one of these support pieces on each end and uh, now if I were to put the gates in there I could run them in the middle here somewhere I just cut out two sections you know two sections here and then add that gate section right in there and it'd be fine um, so anyway this is after it's painted and you can see it still has a little bit of a shine to it but not too much and that's the gray paint on there and this is the back side the other side of it um, but it has a slight shimmer to it I don't know if that shows up or not but there's a slight shimmer to it uh, and that's due to the silver that I missed it on afterwards um, so anyway that that's it that's 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 the whole thing um, very easy to do it's just like most things in this hobby just time-consuming so anyway um, that's it for this week uh, if, you, if you're just finding me and you like how this fence was made, um, let me know. Uh, don't be afraid to comment. And by all means, subscribe if you haven't already. Love to have you along for the ride. Uh, so until next time, happy modeling.